Welcome ladies and gents as we look to have some fun in the sun here in Vietnam. Yes, we are in Vietnam instead of Malaysia and well, we are guaranteed ourselves a semi, yes. But that is not, of course, a dirty reference to my soft spot for Asian ladies. No, it is in fact a reference to our Asian Confederation group, where we've already made it through. We're already qualified for the semi-finals, but we thought we'd come here, have a little bit of fun in our game here in Vietnam as we finish off the group. Now, where are we in Vietnam? Let's have a little fun, shall we? We are here in Quan Hang Cam Pha Quang Ninh Hi. But without further ado, let's see how we got on against Kadir in the catch up game. Okay, so like I said in the intro, our only catch up game is against Kadir in the league. And well, as you can see, it went interesting. It was rather interesting to say the least. So first of all, Agiaqua got us off to a nice little start four minutes in. They then grabbed themselves an equalizer only nine minutes in and then took the lead on the 22nd. But Agiaqua wasn't having any of that. He decided to grab himself a brace. But Agiaqua then won himself a penalty. So the game was like okay you know what you've won the penalty and there's that tick box option if they're on a hat trick they can take the penalty i believe i've left that checked so he stepped up to take the penalty fluffed it absolutely fluffed it anyways we then won another penalty agyakwa again winning it by the way and yet the game's like nope you messed up the first time we are not giving it back to you they gave it to cabrera and cabrera slotted it away so he should have probably taken the first one and we would have taken a 4-2 lead in this one but heck as you can see no does it show their penalty they had a penalty as well don't know why their penalty is not showing on that list but let's just say our goalkeeper he stepped up he was our hero baby he kissed away the pain oh yes as he made a beautiful save as well i'm very confused why that's not on there in fact a couple of injuries on there as you can see sue ieni has got a knock and speaking of that knock let's go have a little look how long that is as well as some other news over in the notebook and speaking of pain and kissing it away, sadly Malias cannot kiss away the pain of Hanapi and Suhaimi. Now, first of all, Hanapi. Hanapi picks up an injury against Kadir, and well, he is out. He's been treated by the physio. Does it say how long he's got a full groin? We know that. It doesn't say how long. Okay, two to nine days remaining on that one. We then have the injury to Suhaimi. He picked up that in the Kadir game, which took us down to 10 men in the end in fact he has suffered twisted ankle after an attacking midfielder basically they injured him so Suaimi is out for five to six weeks a rather lengthy one on that he's of course our go-to backup cam so that's a little bit disappointing but without further ado let's head on over to the stadium and let's crack on with today's game here in Vietnam Okay, ladies and gents, match day is finally upon us here in the Asian Confederation Cup. Now, it'll take forever if I go through all the teams, but we shall go through the countries who are head-to-head -head here today. So, in Group A, we have Oman taking on Jordan, Kuwait taking on Bahrain. Group B sees Syria taking on Bahrain, and Iraq taking on Jordan. Group C only has one game, that's Iraq versus Oman. In Group D, we then have Kajikistan taking on Turkey. Turkmenistan and Tajikistan taking on Tajikistan. India then takes on Bhutan in Group E. Group F is Vietnam versus Myan Myanmar. Myanmar, yes, Myanmar. We then have Indonesia taking on Philippines. I doubted myself for a second. I should have just looked at the flag instead of trying to look at the abbreviation. Group G is Philippines taking on Malaysia. We have Cambodia taking on Singapore. Group H only has one game, which of course is our game, Vietnam taking on Malaysia. And Group I, which is Hong Kong versus Hong Kong. And, well, North Korea taking on Mongolia. So, some interesting games going on in the Asian Confederation Cup. But let's head on over to the tactical meeting screen. As you can see, we are top of the group. They are second, but we are guaranteed qualification. We are Q1 top of the group, guaranteed going into this one. We can relax. Very good pitch condition. We are, of course, going to go out for the win, though. We are starting off with mainly our full strength lineup. 2,957 tickets have been sold out of a 3,000 capacity. We're not going to be back here again so it's a bit of a shame that they haven't managed to sell out the stadium 22 degrees celsius and 
Tom here today. Opposition instructions now. Do it, of course. And, well, our team here today. There is a couple of players who are tired, and I am, as you can see, giving Am a Yimbila, I should say, a Yimbila, giving him the opportunity to play the Ghanaian, who wasn't too happy, played him last game, giving him another game in this one. Hopefully, he stops being so upset. So, our team here today is the wonderful superhero himself, Maliat, who I wish I could give a cape after saving that penalty in the last game. We have Ong Ayimbila, whose name I'm going to butcher several times, Kalonda and Mauricio at the back. On our wings, we have Azri and Safari, with Krasniki in between. The cam spots are Samara and Agyakwa, and of course, Haki up front we are going for a positive mentality here today our bench consists of biden elstal laure who usually starts we are of course playing the Ghanaian in instead mansour tuck and of course ishak and zamri but without further ado let's head on over and let's give the team a little cheer chat Right, so it's time for our team talk, but what approach are we going for? Like I previously said, we are guaranteed to make it through, but I think we need to be a little bit more assertive. We've been struggling as of recent. We don't want to trip up. So let's point our finger and we're favourites here. Go play like it. I expect nothing but a win from this match to keep our form going. I want you to pick up where you left off last time. Maybe not. We finished that last game rather rough. So we're favourites. Play like it. We're favourites. Go out there and play like it. A couple of people are complacent. A Yimbila, a person who said he wants a bit of game time. And Mauricio, who's got a bit aggressive at that idea. Now, they're coming off the back of two losses that we know of. We, of course, because they're in the Vietnamese League, have no idea how their actual league form is going. But that is the Asian Confederation Cup form they are currently in. So, a ball over to Azri here on this left-hand side. What can he do with this one? Azri, of course, not Nasri. That would be a rather better player, I would say, to have in our team. Although, foreign play limit would make it a bit hard to put him in the team. Anyway, Van Day is going to come at us down this right hand side. It's a ball back to Trung. Trung tries to get it up. Lovely interception by Ambili. I'm going to struggle with his name all game. The Ghanaian man, Mr. Ghana. I should just call him Mr. Ghana. Mr. Ghana tries to get it up to Hakim. It's intercepted, not on for Diogo. Lovely inception by Mauricio, though. Agyakwa gets up to Samara. Now Hakim, nice one too. Samara, one on one with the keeper. Can he? No, it's straight up course course all the places also how on earth did that ambulance get there it must have drove all the way around because it didn't come through the gate where the fans of course have gone through it didn't come through the wall unless it did some magical phasing so it had to have drove all the way along the pitch but if you look at the top end that's where our benches are so unless they can be moved it didn't come that way it would have had to come around all the way from the bottom i don't know very confusing how that ambulance ended up over there, but we're not here to try and figure out why ambulances are stuck behind a weirdly shaped wall in the corner of the pitch. No, that is for the sports interactive design team to be thinking about, not us. As we though, what's he going to do with this one? Pulls it back for Ong. Where's he got going with this one? He goes back to Asri. Asri's made a nice little run. Maybe pull it back. You've got spot. No. Instead, whips it in and ooh. That was a nice cross by Ong. Maybe keep the header down a little bit more. Agiakwa. I would have said play it out to the edge where I believe that was Krasniki. He would have had a great opportunity to just smash one from the edge of the box or perhaps even chip one into the back himself. But we didn't do that. We wasted the opportunity. As you can see, though, six point gap on them, even with this draw. So we have narrowly been better. Admittedly, two shots. Does make it look worse. We've been much better in terms of shots, but I would say a 40 60 split on the possession does mean they have been a little bit better than their shooting has suggested. So they've managed to get probably two thirds of the way off our pitch and just never been able to get a whole lot of shots off. So we are going to be a bit more assertive. I'm not, not happy with the performance, lads. Pick it up. We need a win here. We don't need a win, but I want one. So. Go get it. Go get it. Because this might be the last time we're here in Vietnam. So let's try and leave Vietnam with a singular win. A 1-0 record leaving out all Vietnam. There's an opportunity here. Let's take it. Selangor, by the way, 
1-0 up in their game. 57th, almost 58th minute right now. Sly tackle, it comes out to Asri. Their right back should have probably collected that, but thankfully, Asri gets it into Samara. Edge of the box, Krasniki again. Great opportunity instead, though. Took too long. He dilly-dallied on the ball, and it cost his opportunity. Samara from range, though, forces a save from Dieppe, and they keep it in play. Honestly, that was a nice bit of play to keep that in, and for the goalkeeper to then clear it away, and not to put it back in danger. So, 66th minute, a little later than usual. As you can see, our fitness is okay. We've got no players struggling for fitness. We do have a couple of players struggling in terms of ability, though, including a certain centre-back who really wanted to play. So, Laure is going to come on for him. Now, Ishak is our backup for either of these, this time coming on at left-back. In terms of other players, we have Krasniki who's having a rough game. So you know what, Krasniki, you can go off. We'll bring on Mansour. Nice triple sub. Let's do it. Confirm it. Let's try and grab ourselves a goal because it's rather disappointing right now. In fact, I'm going to pause it. We're going to shout. We're going to demand more. Lads, go. Score us a goal. We don't want a nil-nil draw. That would be rather dull. Even if today we are guaranteed, of course, our Seni. Ishak, though, throws it into Samara. Where's he going to go with this one? Whips it in. Agiak, we can't get onto it. Hakim will collect it, though. Where's he going to go with this one? Maybe play it back inside or perhaps run down the wing himself. He's going to play it down the wing to Safari. Whips it in. Samara, a little bit deep. Fortunate to get it. And what a goal by Samara. The goalkeeper should have done a lot better there. The defender closed down the angle. He had the tightest of gaps to squeeze it in. And yet the goalkeeper let him. How on earth did you get it through there, Samara? I do not know. Let's have another look at this one. Look, the defender pushes him to the byline. Could have probably done a little bit better, but the goalkeeper honestly could have just left his leg next to the post. Stood next to that post and it wouldn't have gone in. But we'll take it. We shall take it. Mauricio the, with the free kick plays up to Safari. Can we grab ourselves a second here as it played back to Mauricio? He goes all the way back to Colonda. Colonda tries the ball over the top. Instead, it's intercepted. Nodded down. Hakeem will intercept it, though. Samara on the counter-attack. Maybe a ball over the top. He's got two men to get it, too. Unfortunately, though, he's going to play it back to Ishak. Ishak now over to Mansour. Gets it over to Hakeem. Ball through to Agiakwa. He should have probably played more of a through ball than a normal pass. Would have gave him probably a better opportunity to just run onto it and hit it first time but he forced us a corner got us a corner over near the couple of indoors in that corner where we could possibly get i don't know a burger i don't know what they have in these sort of vendor machines over vendor machines yes it's a machine doesn't look like a machine but you know what i mean all these takeaway vans over in vietnam not quite sure what they would have perhaps noodles anyway not for rambling, Safari has just gone and gave us a second goal, extended our lead, and it's nice and simple. Simple victory in the end. Weird that he managed to get the tackle in, but Samara just was okay. I'm going to get the ball back. Whips it in, back post, Safari, second goal. And we, my friends, we have 12 points from a possible 12 in this group. And why did he do that? You're 2-0 down, two minutes from the end of the time. You're not qualifying anyway. Why would you get yourself sent off there? Honestly, just let us run to the byline. We're not going to be a threat over there. Okay, that was a weird bit of decision making from their player towards the end, but it's a comfortable victory for us. As you can see, that shot's on target, by the way, in the end, ended up being pretty nice. 15 out of 21 hopefully we can do that when we head into the semi-final i'm not sure when that game will be perhaps it'll be in the next episode perhaps it'll be in one or two time we'll have to find out when i find out when our fixture is but i thank you all for joining us in this one hopefully your week so far has been nice hopefully you enjoy your night and goodbye